Hey, Sisteritas, welcome back to the Sisterita Club. Jessica Jarris here. We are continuing to work on creating our prayer Bibles, and I'm going to show you how you can use washi tape. This is lace washi tape to uh, act as a tab for your themes and your Bible verses in your prayer Bible. If you are new to the Sisterita Club and you're not sure what I'm even talking about, First and foremost, super glad that you are here. We are working on Korean Prayer Bibles. This is a series that we are working on, so you have joined us at a good time since we are just getting started. I will link all of the videos below so that you can follow along and catch up. But this is a prayer Bible. We are basically turning our new compact Bibles uh, into prayer Bibles, and this will change your prayer life, and it'll be a blessing to your friends and family and for yourself as you are praying over uh, the real big needs that you have in your life and your friends and family have. So what this is, is you will basically be um, writing out your bold prayers for your friends and family and for yourself. And for example, I'm praying over the, my kids' purity, their walk in the Lord, with their Lord, work ethic. And then you take those uh, themes and you tab them. So like this is God's attributes and that is the scripture verse to that. Or as I was saying, I was praying for my children's purity and there's the scripture verse for that. So you will see that you are able to really delve into the word and pray these scriptures. So it's so powerful to pray scripture. When we do, we are saying God's will and God's word back to God. And we're allowing him to transform us according to his will. And um, and so I'm really excited about this. So we are going to work in here. And like I said, I'm going to start on this washi tape to have a different texture in my tab. Um, this I got on Amazon, actually, I don't even think that there's an ISBN number. It came in a pack, but if you literally type in lace washi tape, it should come up and I will also link this below, but look how pretty that is. And there's other colors too. I have white and I also have a cream. So I will also link below the, uh, themes and the Bible verses that correspond with it. And um, in the other verses, I had shared some of these themes and the Bible verses that I'm going to be incorporating in this Bible. And you want to match up the number of verses that you're using for that theme to the amount of tabs that you have, of course. So for example, I don't believe that this washi tape is going to give me um, enough tabs for identity in God, right? So I've got to be pretty selective. So I'm going to see how much I have here. So I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I actually have more than I thought. Seven, eight, nine. So I've got, I don't have enough for 10. So I've got nine verses that I can tab. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could technically do Bible verses on a softened heart. Let's see, um, what about, let's see, I'm seeing if I have any that has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's 10. I don't wanna miss out on that. So this way you're at least getting an idea of some of my themes and verses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. And we already did being honest in thought life in one of the other videos. All right, so let's just go ahead and do Bible verses on a softened heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. So I could do, I have nine tabs worth of the yellow, but I will nail it with this, with these eight. All right, so. This theme is very important because it's similar to like praying for somebody for their walk with the Lord or for their salvation. I'm praying that my friends and family and my children have a softened heart for the Lord and that they desire to walk in a relationship with him. So I'm going to start with Ezekiel 36, 26, and um, we'll go into the table of contents and let's find Ezekiel 6, 27. 
This is so much fun, Sisteritas. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to add, make sure that you drop them below and I will go ahead and address that in another video too. And please share this video because it is such a blessing for others and you don't know who would see this video and they would be like, oh my gosh, I've been struggling to pray and this was gonna change my life and I'm so excited. So please, please share this video, share it on your social uh, media network. That would be so helpful and it would help me as well. So let's see, Ezekiel 36, 26. And I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and will give you tender, responsive heart. So that is such a beautiful verse to be praying over your friends and family. So that's Ezekiel 36, 26. 36, 26. So I'm going to highlight that verse and it's going to be the only verse on this page. So when I turn to it, I'm going to know exactly which theme this is. And then what I'm going to do while I'm going to teach you how to do this is I'm going to take a separate sheet of paper and I'm going to put it right below this so that I'm not actually sticking two sheets together since the Bible pa pages are so thin. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure it out. So to there to here. Okay. And I've got my sewing scissors to cut fabric. But my children have used this on paper. And I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes if you take fabric scissors and use it on paper, it ruins it. But this one worked. So good, good, good. And then I want it to show off of, of the page um, so, so it looks like a tab. So, for example, you can see, I ha you can see the pink um, that is showing through on the tabs. So I want that to be the same case. So I'm going to take this sticker off right here if I can get it without ripping it. Ah, it is tricky especially with nails. Hold on one second. Well, wouldn't you know, I can't even get it off. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Woohoo! All right. And then I'm going to stick it on. I'm basically, when, when you take this, you're going to really only keep the very, very, very edge on the edge of here, if that makes sense. So you're barely, you're really barely putting it you're going to take it right up to the edge of the paper and you're going to lay it down. Try to get it as straight as you can, but you know what? If you don't get it that straight, that's okay because you're not really going to notice. It can be, you can get away with it being imperfect. And you can see it's kind of pulling up a little bit here. That's okay. I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit here. Straighten it out a little bit there. Okay, so see, now I have basically all of this sticky. This part of the sticker is sticking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this washi roll of just washi tape. And isn't this cute? And it's basically the same width as the tape. And I'm going to literally use this to cover up the sticky, but I'm not going to get it over this very top. I'm just literally covering up the sticky. And that's it. Peel this off gently so you don't rip the Bible with it. And then on the last like little bit that's hanging over, you can just trim that. Boom. All right. And then there's this other little piece. I'm just going to cover this part up. And that's it. And then I'm going to remind myself that on this, I'm praying over Bible verses of a softened heart. That's my theme. So I'm going to go back to my page over here. Look how cute that is, by the way. See? Ah, so cute. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're going to just love your prayer Bible because it's going to be so cute. You're going to want to be in it. And you can decorate and add little stickers. It's so cute. And so to remind myself, because... You'll be like, how am I going to remember which tab is which? Just write it right there. And it's the only verse for that. So I'm going to write um, softened heart. And that's it. That's how I'm, I am going to remember it. 
All right, so that was Ezekiel 36, 26. So now I'm going to go to Jeremiah 24, 7. All right, so I'm going to go back here. Jeremiah is at 570. So still in the Old Testament, just a few books back. All right, we're in Jeremiah, and I said 24-7. And this is another great way of really understanding and familiarizing yourself with the scriptures when you're praying. All right, I will, right here, I will give them hearts that recognize me as the Lord. They will be my people and I will be their God for they will return to me wholeheartedly. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that verse. And I'm gonna change out my highlighter because I didn't like that last color. It was really faint, but these are the Mr. Pen highlighter sets. So I'm going to take this uh, pretty like peachy color. Let's see if this works. Jeremiah 47. Oops. Sorry, I bumped you. Uh, seven. See how much better that stands out. Perfect. All right. So once again, I'm going to tab this. So I'm going to make sure I only have one page. This one page. Rub it with my fingers. And I'm going to match this up. Boom, cut it right there. All right. And then I'm gonna peel off the sticker here. This is the hardest part of it. Oh, I got it. Okay, match it up. I'm gonna kind of scrape it down so it's tight with my fingers and match it up to the very edge, just like that. And you can kind of do this because it'll pull off you can rub it straight because it'll pull off on this page. And then you can pull it back and stick it off. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my washi tape, as I explained before, and cover that up. Perfect, beautiful. And then with the extra excess, I'm just gonna snip it there. And I'm gonna take this excess and just snip it. All right, and then I'm gonna remind myself of what theme this is. And I'm gonna say, softened heart. And I'm using this Mr. Pen Black Multiliner uh, Bible Pen because you can see it doesn't really have much bleed through at all. Well, it doesn't have bleed through. All right, so that's that. So look at how cute it's looking. Okay, so we are going at it. All right, so we've got Ezekiel done. We've got Jeremiah done. Now we're at Hebrews 4.12. So we're going to go to Hebrews, which is one of my favorite books of the Bible. It's in the New Testament. After the Gospels, it's 920. Well, of course, it's after the Gospels. The, um, but All right, 920. So we're in Hebrews, Hebrews 4.12. All right, Hebrews 4.12. Twelve. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and narrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. And that comes from your heart. So that is a perfect, perfect verse. And so um, I'm going to highlight that. And this is, let me show you how you would pray this. Okay. So I'm praying for my son's softened heart, for his heart to be softened. So I would say, I just want to give you an example. Father God, I pray for Stephen. I claim Hebrews 4.12 for him in his life. You say in your word, Lord, that for the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. And I'm praying that Stephen reads your word, that he has a hunger and a desire to read your word. Because when he does, your truth will be cutting between soul and spirit, and it'll be between joint and marrow, and it will expose Stephen's innermost thoughts and desires. And I pray that you soften his heart, Lord Jesus, and I'm claiming this verse in Hebrews 4.12 over my son's life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And that is how you can pray the scriptures over your friends and family. So powerful, so powerful. So I'm going to do the same method that we've been doing. 
I'm just going to take this and again, so you see what I'm doing. You see I'm picking themes and I'm picking scripture verses and then I'm taking the tabs and I'm tabbing them. I'm ta I'm, if I have eight verses for a theme, I get eight tabs. If I have 20 verses for a theme, I get 20 of the same tab. And so that way you can customize and you can, you can do the exact same prayer Bible as I have, or you can go through, you can pick your themes based on what I have, and you can select your scriptures based on what I've provided for you. And then that way you can come up with your tabs. You, you don't even have to have, um, these like Avery tabs, like I'm showing you or the washi tape. You can come up with stickers. This was my very first prayer Bible. And you can see I had like a sticker for each tab. So like the heart um, washi tape was based on love. And the bubble stickers was based on work ethic. And you can see I go to this next bubble sticker and that's on work ethic. So you can, you can pick whatever you want. Um, this is just, uh, I'm just choosing to do the washi tape and the tabs. And I lost my, um, oh, here it is pink washi tape. So anyways, this is just a guide for you. So you pick what you want. Um, you can add more Bible verses for a theme than I've selected, but I'll include the themes in the Bible verse in the description box below. And then you can have at it, decide your, um, tabs and how many themes that you want and how many verses per tabs, and then just match them and Go at it. So you will love it. So here's Hebrews 4.12. Now I'm going to go to Romans 9.18. So Romans 9.18. And Romans is in the um, New Testament. But for the sake of time, I'm going to make sure that I get there quicker. So Romans 8.57. Do, do, do. And I love my pretty flowers. I picked these in my front yard the other day. And I'm going to enjoy them before the cold front snaps. And I don't get any flowers anymore except if I go to Kroger. But Kroger has flowers on clearance quite a bit. So you can get some pretty flowers that way. All right, Romans 9, 18. Okay, so you see God chooses to show mercy to some and he chooses to harden the hearts of others so they refuse to listen. And you've seen that because in, um, remember, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. And so this is definitely a verse that I want to be praying. God, please, I pray that you choose to soften my children's hearts. Do not harden their hearts, Father, as you have done. But please, I'm lamenting and praying and asking by the grace of God and in Jesus' name, that you please soften my son's heart, my daughter's heart. And I do want to say, if because I haven't before, it kind of goes without saying, but I do want to make it clear that we pray our prayers in Jesus' name. So Jesus is our Lord and Savior, and we pray to Jesus, and um, he is our ult ultimate God. Um, he is the Big G God, not the little G God. It is Jesus that we are praying to that is answering, that goes to the Father on our behalf and um, and we are praying to Jesus. No other God but Jesus. It is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, he is our Lord and Savior. All right, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to write over here, remind myself, right? Softened heart. I think this is such a good theme. Did I write that on the other one? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh wait, did it, was it this? I feel like I was missing it. Yeah, see, I missed writing it on here. All right, softened heart. If you were in the room with me, you would have reminded me. Okay, so we've got Romans 9.18, so now we've got Psalms 51.10. So Psalms is basically, if you went smack dab in the middle of the Bible, it's pretty much right there. So Psalms and then Proverbs is always after Psalms. Well, obviously it doesn't change, but you know what I mean. All right, Psalms 51.10. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. So that is beautiful. Um, that was actually one of the verses that we selected for our daughters at their um, baby dedications 
was this verse because it all starts from a clean heart, right? Um, and so that is so sweet. So that is a very important verse. It affects their purity um, because purity isn't just sex. Purity is what are your thoughts? What's your speech? What are you, what are you listening to? What are you reviewing um, on the TV? What are you watching? So um, that affects purity and it stems from our heart. And we want God to give us a clean heart to continue to renew a loyal spirit within us. So I'm going to cut that. You saw I measured it. I've got the paper below. I'm going to peel it off gently. I'm going to take my washi tape. I'm going to stick it down. Blah, blah, blah. Rip it gently. Cut off the excess right there. I'm going to write softened heart. This pen kind of skips a little bit, which is a little frustrating. And then you see it's building itself out. It's so cute. All right, so now we are at Luke 15, 7. So Matthew, Mark, Luke is one of the Gospels. Luke 15, 7. 15... Where it's, oh, I did one more. 15, where are we? 15, seven. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. So I love that, that verse. That reminds me of that song, Reckless Love, which is so profound and sweet. So I'm going to put my paper back. You get the idea. I'm going to measure. Snip. And even if this isn't the lace, this is how you would just do any washi tape. Like that, you would just do the same method if, if you were just doing this, by the way. Um, so we're going to lay it down like that. Oops, I took a little bit of paper with me, but that's okay. Boom. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut the excess right here. It's wanting to be a little bit difficult. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna write softened heart. Softened heart. Okay, oh, there you go. Sorry about that. And then we've got two left. We are now in Romans 10, nine. Oh, we were already in Romans. All right, so Romans 10, 10, 9. Oh, so you know what I'm going to do is I'll just take this washi tape and I'll just put it over the hearts. That's perfect. All right. So I don't even have to do that whole paper on the other side. Um, okay. Okay. I think I had too much coffee this morning because my hands are shaky a little bit. Okay. So Romans 10, 9. There's my highlighter. 10, 9. Where are we? Do, 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 do. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Okay. And then I'm going to write up here, softened heart. All right. And then we are at our last one, Sister Rita's Proverbs 4.23. Proverbs 4, 4.23. Guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life. Dear Father, I pray that Lillian will guard her heart 
above all else, for it will determine the course of Lillian's life. I pray Proverbs 4.23 over Lillian. Please allow her to guard her heart, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So you can see how you can pray that verse over your friends and family. So, oh, look, see, this is sticking, the paper. Oh my gosh, three sheets stuck. So that's why you want to use this tip where you lay an extra piece of paper down. I um, I learned the hard way when I was like gluing multiple sheets of paper in, of the Bible down together. So you'll want to do that. Um, and I'm struggling. Okay, there we go. To get this off. So I'm going to use my fingers and stretch this out. Boom. Pull this back. And I'm going to use this. Lay it down. And then I'm going to come over here. And I am going to write... Softened heart. All right, so there it is, Sister Rita's. Look how cute. It is built itself out, and it is absolutely precious, and I love it. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I don't like that showing over when you see it like that, and I'm actually blessed because I have an extra, enough tape. So I am going to just snip this. Because you can kind of see that when you are looking at it that way. So hold on. Let me fix that. Let me just add that. You don't have to, but I think it'll look good. There we go. So there it is. And together, we on the last two videos, so we have done honesty as a tab. And there's my verse. We have done thoughts, our thought life. And that is our verse. And we have done Bible verses on a softened heart. There's my verse. So what I'm going to do is I have my softened heart, my verses right here. And boom, that's done. And I'm also done from the previous video on these two. So I've got a few more themes to work through. And I will go ahead and link everything below. Really appreciate you, Sister Rita's. Again, please comment, like, subscribe, share, um, all of that. I love you all, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.